Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. This is going to be a replay analysis. This is uh, from Dom. He's actually my little cousin, so um, he sent me a replay and he wanted to see what he can do to improve to get the champ. He has been champ before, but um, with this little reset going on with the, you know, the past season, um, he's sitting a diamond now. So uh, yeah, jump into it and see what happens. All right, Dom, let's see what you got. Yeah, you gotta make sure you hit those those uh, boost pads. Okay, good good possession. You don't want to rush this either. Okay. Beat one. What an own goal. <laughs> okay, so if you want to make things a little easier for yourself, what you can do is you can go around um, this way, go around the ball more. Like you go up the wall and hit it back down. You might get him off guard because um, you going for the aerial here. I mean, it's definitely doable, but at the same time, like you have to be comfortable with these. Like at this point, the ball is so far, away. it's so close, it's so close to the to the backboard. Look, it's like you're not even close to the ball yet, and by the time you touch it, it's it's already hit the backboard. So you're lucky he own gold it, but you should try to aim for more control over this. But it was a good attempt, though. I know what you, what you were trying to do, obviously. You're trying to air dribble it. Or maybe double it. Double tap it. Okay. Alright. You don't want to dive on that. Okay, good. You don't want to full commit on this. You should rotate away. Once you see that the ball is going into the corner like this and your teammate just went after it and your teammate is over here he's not ready for the next play you know if something happens and you get beat and the ball pinches away you know he's screwed and he'll be able to turn around quickly and follow the ball so realistically like once the ball goes over here you need to just don't commit into it like fully commit into over here you should shadow the play because you're just buying time so your teammate can get back. So, um, with this, get a better view. So basically, you shadow this, right? With this line here. And you pressure him. So, you don't want to fully commit to this. Because if you fully commit to this and it doesn't work out, they're going to be stuck in this corner. And then he'll be able to fly past you, and then he's all left at a 2v1. You don't want to leave him in a 2v1, right? That's that's very bad for twos. So what you can do is, when you when you turn around, you can potentially bump this guy. Or if not, no big deal, you can go this way. So, at the same time, when you're rotating away, just get rid of somebody or just you know get yourself into a better position. Wait for what he does next. So what does he do? Yeah, so you, you, you commit, you're all awkward now. You're essentially useless. You're very awkward here. Let me clear the lines. Okay, so you're very awkward here. This is a very bad spot. So you don't do anything. Basically, you're not literally doing anything. You're making it awkward for your teammate. So, if we go and do the actual point of view perspective of that previous drawing I did. Shadow. See how you're back here? And then, you, and then you go. Either that or you just... I mean, actually, not even go at all. Just keep going, keep going. Rotate around your teammate. Then your corner, it's safe. You're over here now. And you can follow it right here. Let him go. And then you can go for it. Maybe get a beat on this guy. Who knows? It's just more comfortable. Like, this entire play worked out because... You know, it's only diamond, but you want to get in the habit of taking safer routes. Because it's going to bite you in the ass later. Okay, I don't like how you went after this boost, believe it or not. I actually don't like this. Because you just made this play, and you, you should know, in general, your teammate is behind you and, and is probably pushing up because the play is on their side of the field now. So just land and follow it. Use these boost pads. See, he misses. Would have scored very easily. So again, if we do the drawing, look how easy this is. 
you're literally just you land right over here somewhere you take these boost pads wait for them to miss and you score it so let's watch this play uh play out they take this line turn he misses you score it right because look yeah, the ball is far away, but your teammate's behind you, and this isn't dangerous. He can't hit this ball around you if you're waiting for it over here. You know, if you wait for it in this area, this is perfect, because he's going to hit it to the right regardless, based off of his position. He's on the left side of the ball, so it's more likely he's going to hit it out this way. So if you're over here, you can also cover the wall, too. You see what I mean? Like, you have to see this vision. This is high-level vision right here. You have multiple options. So, in this case, the ball ends up rolling over here, and you just simply quickly meet up with it. And he's going to be awkward, right? Watch. See, he's awkward. He flipped into it. He committed. He failed. And remember, dude, this is diamond. You, you should actually be aggressive, but also safe. This is an aggressive... This is aggressive... Let me go back to the exact play here where he's about to hit the wall. So you'd be over, you'd be over here, around here by now, right? So this is, you come around, and you're right here, around this area here. This is aggressive, because you let him know that you're ready for him, and he's going to be nervous, because you're, you know, he doesn't know what you're going to do, but he knows you're there, and he doesn't want this ball to get near the goal, so he's going to panic. And you know your teammate is behind you, he's behind you somewhere, you know, so he's the last man. You know, this is a great opportunity to outplay this guy. Because there's no one behind him to help him. So, it's also passive. Because, you see how I drew that... Um, if he'd hit... In a, good, in a good case scenario, he misses. Which is what happens. And you can score it. Worst case scenario, no big deal. You're far away enough to react to the wall hit going up here. And remember, he dodged into it. So he can't follow the ball. The ball will move on its own. So you'll be uncontested, and you can go for maybe a, a quick wall chip into the net. Who knows? You know what I mean? I, I, I can't tell exactly, but you, you get the basic idea. So, definitely a huge scoring opportunity here, and you missed it. But that's okay, because this is just learning, you know? Oh, nice. Okay, perfect. Oh, okay, so this is- I think you showed me this ceiling shot actually. So that's where it's from. This is the context behind it. Okay, very good shot. Nice. Good use of the ceiling. Okay, I don't like how you kept driving. You're patient, but you're not that patient. <laughs> Stop right here. You know your teammate's trying to do something. A play is about to happen, right? The ball is about to get hit by somebody, either your teammate or him. No need to get too close to get beat, right? Wait for the play. Jump up, Hit it to the side corner, right? That's it, done. He might hope he hopefully should drive up since you're now landing on the ground, and you'll move over this back post, you know, and the ball will be over there somewhere rather than being over here. And this is why you get scored on. Believe it or not, this is your fault. <laughs> this is literally your fault, whether you like it or not. You definitely could have handled this way better by being farther back. In the lower ranks, you do not rely on your teammates. You have to be the better player. I, I hate to say it. I, I know playing team-oriented is better, but in the lower ranks, everybody is inconsistent, and it's just so unreliable. Like, not to shit on you, but you couldn't even catch this ball. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, you're, um... It's just inconsistencies all over the place. Like, look at this defender. That's what I'm saying. Like, how could he not block this? He should have waited on the wall or something. He should have went up the wall. And then tried to go for a save or something. You know what I mean? Like, not just what he was doing. So anyways, you know, I, I, I'm sounding mean, but it's just the truth. I think a lot of players in the lower ranks, if they just played... What am I doing here? I'm like switching around all over the place. Uh, player view. No, oh, okay. So, lower ranked players, um, though... You should expect your opponent to mess up a lot, but I still don't want you to position so aggressively. Because if they do somehow hit a good play, you're still going to be off guard. So you should position far away enough 
to capitalize on it at the same time. But also, you know, if it goes wrong, then you're still able to get back. And that obviously goes for every rank, but um, in general, though, they're probably going to mess up. This is a pretty good shot. What happened here? Um, let's go watch this play again. This is a kickoff. Okay, you go for boost. Where's your teammate? Okay, th this is literally why this is your teammate's fault. He's rushing. The ball's in his corner. No one's contesting. He can turn his camera around to see no one's even close. He can just drive, let the ball hit the ground, and then do whatever he wants with it. So this is your teammate's fault. He just threw away the ball. You just got back, and you're trying to contest. So, I mean, at this point, you don't want to jump after anymore. Once you're over here, just you're, you're rotating ball side. This is bad. You should be rotating um, like this. You want to get back as quick as possible. Why don't you just do this? Mind-blowing. Ready? So let's say you have... How much boost do you got? You have literally zero boost, right? Okay, so... Uh, you have zero boost. So... Why don't you just rotate... You're over here just a second ago. So why don't you do this? 12, 24, 36, 48... And then 60. See, right over here. Right? So you're over here now. Your back post ready for the shot. You wait. Now you... No, don't go because your teammate's there. Well, you get the point. I'm trying... Let me see if I can go... Let me see if I can see if there's a good spot for you to go. Probably right here when he hits this ball. You quickly run over and swipe this ball away from him. Because if you... Keep waiting, because if you wait and you're letting him go again, he's awkward here, and he's just too slow, so you'd get beat anyways. So I think, really, the only way to stop this is if you uh, wait for the banger off the wall here. So you're waiting here, and then you go. Like, you pre-move into it. So that's probably the best bet you can do for this type of play. All right. Hopefully that makes sense. You can always rewind the video and, and, you know, see what I mean. Okay. Alright, you, you don't need to follow this. Just get out of there. <laughs> it's stuff like this. Just get out. You know, go this way. I'd bump him, and I'd move out. Get some small pads. Remember, you want boost. Right? And then you, you'd, be, you'd be able to be ready for the next play, whatever happens. Uh, in the, in the uh, other scenario, so... You didn't need to flip into this. You know, he's already going back. You need to be on this play. So just get the ball. I get the ball. Get the boost. Turn around. And then just go after it. You know, that's what I do. Okay, power shot. Ah, you missed. Alright, you faked your teammate out. <laughs> you gotta be good with... Uh... Okay, actually, you didn't need to hit this right away. You could have waited. You're rushing yourself. You're, he just flipped, right? He just flipped. And he's barely even landing. He can't instantly turn on this. You know this, right? You should see that. Wait a second, and then turn and hit the ball. But you went too early when you weren't technically ready for it. And you go after it, and you fake your teammate out. If you miss like this, just let your teammate go. You know, this is bad. You know, and you see your teammate right here? He's right behind the ball. Turn around like this. Just get out. And this is why you get scored on. You're playing too aggressive for no reason. You didn't. You weren't patient enough by reading your opponent's positioning that it was safe to hold on to the ball a little longer. And then you try to go again to correct your mistake, but you make another mistake trying to fix your other mistake. <laughs> that makes sense. Okay, you're going to have to work on those aerials too. You don't even need to go after this, honestly. You don't really need to go after this. The ball is already going way to the side of the wall. Just follow it on the ground. Right? And go jump up, maybe hit a... Jump up and hit like a diagonal shot towards net. You know what I mean? Like something like that. See, that's more safer. And it's less committing than this. And it's easier. You know what I mean? Like... If you're working on some kind of mechanic in training, only do it in game if you're very consistent to do it in training. Don't... 
do it in a ranked match. Try doing it in casual first, and if you're still struggling with it, then don't use it in ranked yet. It's not worth missing a ball and scoring opportunity over something that's just out of your range right now. You know what I mean? Oh, man. Okay. Good work. Alright, take your time. You hit the ball too harsh. <laughs> it's good that you turn around. You get a redo. Oh! Okay. <laughs> you should not have scored that. <laughs> what happened here? What's he doing? Oh, come on. He, he didn't hit the brakes. <laughs> Alright, so... You got lucky. You got very lucky. I, I hate to say it. That was just luck. That wasn't even a good shot. I hate to say it. <laughs> but better better lobby would have been blocked easily. If you want, if this happens, take better control over this. You're hitting it too hard. I would go... I would wait, right? So keep, go close to the ball, boost, and then jump slower into it. So you're not going to hit... Uh, more, you're not going to get a more powerful hit because you lost it. This would have been a great aerial uh, air dribble play, but you hit the ball too far. If you just approached the ball a little slower, you would have had a better control over it and gone for an air dribble, which is a better play than just hitting the ball away and hoping he just sucks with defense. You got to watch what your teammate's doing here. You're lucky he didn't double commit with you. Okay, I, yeah, I get back. Yeah, you got that mode. Lucky you didn't get scored on here. They haven't scored on you. Okay, so the thing is... You see this guy below you? He just went, right? Teammate's gone. But you should know the blue guy is coming. And I can hear him anyways. You weren't paying attention. You weren't using your headphones. <laughs> you weren't listening hard enough. And just... Dude, just quickly... It doesn't hurt to just... Uh, turn your camera. So you see what he's doing. Oh, shit. He's coming towards me. I'll just back up and turn away. And then let him come. I'm back over here. I can catch the ball to the side. Roll around this way. You know what I mean? Like, it's just easier. See? In the lower ranks, less is more. Trust me. You don't need to do that much to, score to win these matches. A lot of low ranked players try way too hard on their mechanics. And they end up failing. And that's why you lose. Because you're doing stuff that you just suck at. It will improve eventually. It's good to continue to practice them. But you have to make sure you're game ready for it. You know, Don't try to pull off mechanics you're still learning in a match. In a ranked match. Do it in casual. Where you get the more game environment feel. You know what I mean? Like do it in training first. Then bring it to casual. And then once everything looks good. Then bring it into ranked. That's what you should be doing. Don't try to grow your 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 um, your skills in a ranked match. That doesn't work. <laughs> Do less. Okay, so what happens here? I know I'm talking too much, but this is a very important video. Not not just for you, Dom, but for others in the in the lower ranks. This is so crucial to understand. But I have to be harsh and truthful because it's the best way to learn. Okay, so you kind of commit too hard. I know that big boost is tempting, my man, but your priority in twos or any game mode is to help your teammate, except for once, obviously, is to help your teammates. Your teammate is crucial. I know you. I know. I just said earlier to not trust your teammate, but because of that, you have to go back. Get the small pads, right? 12, 24, 36. Uh, go over here instead. Uh, what is that? 12, hold on. 12, 24, 36, 48. <laughs> My math is trash. So you'd be over, oh shit. You'd be over here, right? So let's see what happens. Oh, I drew it on the ceiling. <laughs> Anyways, you'd be, you'd be over here. At this point. Look how much safer this is. I actually don't even go after it. Right? Play the hit. Move, start moving a little bit. And then go after it. Easy as shit save. So that's basically what you should do in order to, to fix that. 
it doesn't look like it's your fault because you're not in the play. You may think your teammate's trash because, I mean, he is. But, again, you can't trust him to do these things. He panicked. So, not only did he make a mistake, but you made a mistake by trusting him and going after Big Boost. He probably could have been back fast enough to go for the save. At least try to save. Even if he didn't save it, at least you were there trying to save. Okay, so he flat out missed it. <laughs> okay. That's not your fault, because you're always able to go for boost, you know? He shouldn't have missed this ball. That's just him being stupid. Thank God you didn't lose this match, because you guys definitely didn't deserve to lose. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, nice. Alright, if you had better control over that hit, you would have hit it more out, uh, more into the field more. That's alright. You see how he's panicking? You don't you don't want to get too aggressive when he ha when he has the ball. Don't get too aggressive. He made decides to double commit. Like he has good intentions, but he's not he's not paying attention to you. You know what I'm saying? Like he missed it anyways. Like <laughs> he has good intentions. He wants to help you, but it's just not working. So yeah, you you would have definitely hit it over him. So. He kind of screwed you up. Gary teammates ball chasing? This is diamond. Like, this guy's garbage for a diamond player. Why is he going after this? Like, what does he expect to do? Hit a pinch? And he completely missed it. Like, what is he doing? You guys... I mean, you guys... I mean, alright. Like, I know I said you guys deserve to win, but at the same time, it's like you guys deserve to lose because you guys are playing... Not you, specifically. I mean, there, there are a lot of mistakes you've made, but your teammate is just throwing. Oh my goodness, how'd you guys win this? Okay, this was... Just let your teammate go at this point. You see him turning after this ball, so just stop. Oh, wait. So right here, you get your big boost, right? Stop, because you see he turned around after the ball. You have to be quick. You literally had to be quick as hell thinking about this stuff. So stop moving right here. Let him go. And uh and, and see what happens with the with the play. It's a lot safer. You're probably agitated because he sucks, which I don't blame you, and you're trying to fix everything, but you getting agitated and double committing with him is also gonna make things worse. So it's better to just chill out and let him do his thing. Okay, you're you're rotating horribly again. You need to get away. You don't need to be under this ball anymore. Being under the ball is stupid awkward. You know why? Just look at this. Where is the enemy players? Where is everybody? Right? When you're looking up at the ball, where is everybody? You don't, you don't know what the hell's going on. So just rotate out. Move over here. And then you can go after this ball. Maybe bang it over this way. Now the ball's still stuck on your side. Teammate sucks. Oh my god. Alright, good. You, you, you didn't go after the ball, which is nice. You had wait, wait. Nice. Your teammate, again, shouldn't be going after this. He's just being an idiot. Alright, what happens here? This man doesn't even have ball cam on. What the heck? How does, how does he know it's safe or not? What the heck's going on? Like, you just died, and the ball's going up towards the guy there. He has ball cam off. Like, hello? He could have, he could have smacked the ball into the net by now. <laughs> He's so oblivious. <laughs> Turn ball cam back on. <laughs> so what happens here? How'd you guys recover off this? Oh, because you spawn right in front of the ball. Okay. Lucky spawn. All right. That's it for the gameplay. Okay, so... You definitely need to work on positioning. Uh, mechanics, of course. That's a given for everybody. Um, so... Um, positioning, decision-making, looking at your opponents. And also being aware of your teammate's playstyle and what he is. Because you're getting too aggressive at some plays, and it causes double commits. And there are times where, uh, you didn't rotate enough. Like, you didn't rotate properly, and you let the ball go in. So, um, if you focus on just uh, playing a more conscious game, being wary of your at, at least your teammate, 
then you should easily get back into champ for sure. Because if all your games are like this, I mean, there's there's really no excuse to, to not rank up. I mean, the blue team was giving away free goals. I think you guys could have scored way more often if you just played a little smarter. But um, that's just the reality. I mean, I don't want anybody to be mad that I'm saying, oh, it's, it's easy, just do this. Like, I don't remember my days of playing in lower ranks anymore. I just don't. I have videos of myself playing in the lower ranks, but I don't actually remember it. But, um, of course it's easy for me to say, yeah, this is easy, just do this, it's not that hard, guys, you know, but I I'm trying to tell, show you, show you that it's, it's just like, there are many different ways of going about it, you know, you don't have to always do the most obvious and direct approaches, uh, all the time, you know, sometimes it's better to do something really quick, but, um, for the sake of lower ranked people, um, you know, like, I really I really do want to keep saying that it's easy. Like, you guys shouldn't be struggling. But, you know, at the same time, I don't know how it feels. So, um, you guys are obviously in the rank for, the reason, for a reason, you know. Just like how I'm in my rank. You know, I struggle in my rank, and you guys struggle in your rank. So, that I really have, you know, I do have empathy for you guys. Or, or sympathy. I don't know which one you want to say, but... Um, you know, so hopefully my videos help you guys, uh, you know, help you, helps you guys rank up. And I've been getting comments saying that it has helped people, so, which is really nice to hear. So, um, thank you guys for the nice comments. I appreciate it. And, uh, I think this might be a longer video than usual for a replay video, but, um, I think it's important for me to kind of clarify my intentions and why I'm so harsh on uh these replays because i really do care you know i i like if i didn't care i wouldn't have this channel and i would just be giving you stupid generic boring advice you know like i'm harsh because i care you know just how a coach is harsh on his teammates on, on his team because he wants them to succeed you know i want you guys to succeed too you know so you gotta learn this stuff and I know it comes with time, and I don't want you guys to feel bad about yourself. You know, there's plenty of times, uh, there's plenty of moments to learn. Um, just, you know, take it one step at a time. I give um, multiple things to work on in these replay reviews, but focus on one thing at a time. So if I list three things for you to work on, just focus on one thing for like, you know, like a week or two, and then move on to the next one. Um, yeah, so thank you, Dom, for sending the replay. Hopefully I wasn't too harsh. Um, uh, and to those viewers who are also in the rank area, I don't want to sound mean or anything like that, because that's not what I'm trying to, to sound like. Um, yeah, so hopefully this helps everyone in the Diamond 2 area. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.